Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Ma La Xiang Guo. So let's start cooking. First, we need to boil the ingredients. I'll be boiling 200 grams of lotus roots as well as one potato. I'm going to put them in into this hot water. Important thing is not to overcook them. We just want it to be just nice because we want a little bit of crunch in this dish. Let's wait for the water to boil again and then we'll just drain this out from the water. This is done already. Remove this from the water. Now remember we still want some crunch so we are not going to overcook them. As long as they are cooked, they'll be good. Next we are going to boil the Chinese cabbage, 150 grams. Just a while will do. The cabbage is done. Let's scoop this up too. We'll be stir frying them together. Hence we need to actually cook all this first. 60 grams of the pinker skin. These are the very thin type. We just need to wash the oil off. Done. We'll take it out. This is a very popular dish nowadays in Singapore. A lot of people are eating them. Singaporean love spicy food and this is really nice. 200 grams of enoki mushroom. This will be very fast also. In and out. Okay, this will do. Now we are boiling everything except the meat. The meat will fry together with the sauce so they can absorb all the goodness from the sauce. Last but not least, we are going to also boil the sweet potato thick vermicelli. This is very good for steamboat, but you need to soak this in hot water for a few hours to soften it like this. Otherwise, it will be very, very hard. I'm just going to put this in, just for a minute. This gives you a very Q texture, a very crunchy texture. I love this with my steamboat, with my malak xiang guo especially. I'm just going to heat them up a little bit. Once the water starts to boil, we can remove the sweet potato vermicelli. As you can see, the water is starting to boil. We will remove the vermicelli now. Heat up the pan, put in sufficient oil. We are going to fry some five spice ingredients to make the oil flavorful so that it will be really, really good, this dish. Once the oil has heated up, add in one piece of cinnamon bark, one piece of star anise, half a teaspoon of clove, as well as one or two pieces of bay leaf. At low heat, fry all these spices together to get the flavor out into the oil. Fry them for a while until you can smell the fragrance coming up. I'm starting to smell the fragrance now. I'm just going to move them around for another minute or so and then I'm just going to remove them from the oil. It smells really good right now. I'm just going to remove this from, from the oil now. Now in case you're wondering if you can't get all these spices like this, whether you can use five spice powder or not, I would suggest not because they will burn very very easily. So if that's the case, then just leave this step up. With this done, now we're going to add in the dried chili. I've hydrated them, taken out the seeds. This is about 20 pieces, kind of sizes like this. You want to create chili oil, hence we are just frying it around. I'm starting to smell the spiciness coming out from this chili. Now if you don't want it to be too spicy, you can have the chili. We like our dish to be spicy. We have a very good amount of numbness, hence we are putting in more chili and Sichuan peppercorn also. Mala means numbing and spicy, which is what this dish is all about. So you feel a very different kind of sensation in your mouth. Numbness, spiciness, it's very addictive actually. Chili is almost done. As you can see, the color is changing. So we're going to remove this chili from this pan here. Just put them aside. We're not throwing this away. We'll be using them later because we don't want to burn this. Now we'll add in one thumb size of ginger, sliced. It smells so good. Okay, when you can smell the ginger coming up, we'll put in the rest of the ingredients. Two tablespoons of spicy broad bean paste. One tablespoon of Xiang La Xiang or fragrance spice. Also, you can get this from Yu and Hua, the China departmental store. It's also made of beans. Turn them around. Now we're adding the beef. We'll put in the beef now. It's 270 grams of beef. I marinated the beef with one teaspoon of uh, corn flour and one tablespoon of water. 
no other ingredients. Make sure you separate them up. Be careful because this is very a little bit spicy, so it might sort of uh, choke you. But this will be so good. Before we add in the rest of the ingredients, make sure that the beef is at least 50 or 60 percent done. Right, we don't want to overcook the beef. Now we are putting in the rest of the ingredients. Everything goes in. Mix them up well. If you don't take beef, you can of course substitute it with chicken or pork or any of your favorite meat. Smells so good. Make sure that you mix them up well so that they are covered with this beautiful sauce. Now we'll add the chili back in. This one and a half tablespoon of citron pepper. I've crushed them up. We we'll just spread them in. This is where the numbness comes from. One stalk of Chinese parsley. 40 grams of peanut dry roasted already. Put them in. This will give you different texture. Oh my god, this will be so nice. Look at how beautiful this dish is. The color is coming out from this dish is fantastic. The fragrance, wow. We are almost done already. Let's just give this a taste to make sure that it's savory enough for us. Wow, the spiciness, the numbness. This is really good. Final step, we need to add in some soy sauce. We're going to add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. Mix them up well and it's time to serve this. We've finished cooking the dish and it's time to try it. Mm. The amount of spiciness as well as numbness is just nice for me. Very delicious and this is very good with rice. The best part is it's not very oily like what we see outside. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you try this dish. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.